Welcome in, YCN Sports Talk, Jeremy Stout, and my new guest co-host, Dustin Rivellini. Dustin, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, Jeremy. Yeah, big uh, co-host on the Saturday show, Upper Valley Sports Saturday, and then obviously your uh, real job up at the uh, Hanover Country Club. That's right. Not a whole lot over there these days, but <laughs> right, yeah. so I'm glad I was able to get in with you and get yeah. the feel of the live TV. I know, right? It's a little different than the radio, but we'll we'll kick right off uh, with the NFL playoffs first. Uh, the AFC, let's just go in the divisional round as a whole. You think this is the best weekend of football? Because you have the wildcard teams yep. weeded out. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. You see, this is when the, the bye teams are coming into their own. They had that week off to rest, relax, get healthy. Now you're going to see the best of the best. You're going right. to have the, the, probably the four best teams normally left in each conference. Yep. It provides a lot of exciting football. And we saw that last week in the, in the wild card round. We saw, I think it was the first time since 1991, the largest margin of victory for all home all teams. Yep. So, you know, you kind of saw some games that weren't really that close. I think you're going to see a lot better football this week. Yeah, it should be quite a bit better than, than last week. But we're going to start off with one of the games that may not be that close, <laughs> Patriots and Texans. And uh, you're not a Patriots fan, but you got to think, that uh, Patriots should get this one done. Do the Texans, I know they, they're good defensively, and if they hand the ball off to Lamar Miller, they can maybe stay in the game. But, I mean, this is just – Patriots sh should get to the next round, but the Texans, what do they have to do to e even keep it close? Well, this is a 15-point spread to begin with, so you, right. so you think that it's, it's not going to be that close of a game. But the Texans, in order to keep it close, I think they have to run the football to start, like you said, with Lamar Miller. Brock Osweiler, as we know, is not going to go out and win this football game on his own. Right. They need to make – some plays early in the running game, maybe set up a play action pass a little bit, or else this could get out of control right. real quick. And, and that's the biggest thing is limiting those turnovers because anytime you give the Patriots more chances to score, it, it, it could get ugly real early. So Patriots probably get that one done, but you switch over to another game and let's concentrate a little bit more on this one because this is probably, this is probably the game maybe of the, the best game of the weekend. Maybe yep. in the NFC there's a couple good ones, but Steelers, Chiefs. So Big Ben's hurt. Tomlin said he shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have called the play for a pass, but Roethlisberger's out of the walking boot now. Uh, Chiefs with a week off. What are the keys here for, I mean, who do you think's going to win? And we do our picks later, so you don't have to give it away completely, but this should be a good game. Yeah, I'm not going to tease the pick yet. We'll do that right. in the last segment. But I think this is going to be probably the best game of the weekend as the one-point spread that has shown right. is shown it's going to be a close game. The big thing for me is this is the first time in the playoffs we've seen the Steelers with all three of their big players, Ben, Bell, yep. and Brown, healthy. We saw that last week. We saw them open up in the passing game with, with Brown. He got two early touchdowns, obviously on some poor tackling by Miami, but still they made the plays, and then they kind of the closer came in with Le'Veon Bell. We saw a lot of action from him in the second half. I think you see that more of the game plan this week. Try yep. to get the lead early in the passing game and then see what Ben has. And then Because if, if you want get the lead, you have that closer in Bell. Because I don't think the Steelers can win this game game with Ben throwing 40 passes right, with right. his health. Right, okay, now the quarterback on the other side, Alex Smith, we've seen him, uh, you know, he's had his ups and downs last year, losing to the Patriots, getting his first taste of, uh, after winning their first round game. D does he have enough firepower? Mm. You know, you talk about, we talk about the Chiefs and they manage the game and they limit turnovers, but when, when they can get it going, Travis Kelsey, if Macklin's healthy, depending on who's their running back <laughs> for the week, they're, they're a good team. They have the firepower. As we saw, this Steelers defense is susceptible at times. We've seen this Chiefs offense, too. They, they've made a lot of big plays. We saw them score 30 against Denver on th uh, Christmas night. Right. We saw them early in the season struggle in Pittsburgh, but I think they're a different team now. At times, this offense is explosive enough to go out and score 30, 35 points a game. So I think they can hang with the Steelers. The thing with the Chiefs is you don't want to get down early because, again, I don't think Alex right. Smith can bring you back throwing 30, 35 passes a game. I think you're going to see the run, them run the ball early with Spencer where kind of the hybrid running back receiver Tyreek Hill been very good for them this year. I see them making some explosive plays really and trying to win on defense because their defense right. is much better than the Steelers. And, and the big thing in this game, it's going to be interesting to see Andy Reid and Alex Smith, how they work it, and can Alex Smith and Andy Reid get over that hump? They've always been right. known as those two guys who can get it done in the regular season, but can they get it done in the playoffs? And, and this one will be a perfect example as the winner will go probably to Foxborough, Gillette Stadium. Uh, quickly before we go, you know, who are the Patriots right now, they're still the favorite over the field to get to the Super Bowl. I would think so. I, it's going to take a perfect game for one of these two teams, whoever right. 
prevails to come into Foxborough and beat the Patriots. So it's going to be a question of which these, first off, you're going to have to stay healthy. Right. If Roethlisberger were to go to say he's not 100% and they somehow win the game, you've got to go into Foxborough 100% healthier. You're going to have no chance to beat the Patriots. So I think, yes, the Patriots still the clear favorite. I would expect them to be about a touchdown favorite against either one of these teams at home. Yep. There is firepower on both sides, both offensively and defensively, but we know the Patriots are an all-around football team. Right. So it'll be an exciting week in the AFC. The NFC has a couple really good matchups, yes. and we'll get to those when we come back. You're watching YCN Sports Talk.